Precise gameplay. Sakings. Thank you for the five gifted subs. There's a couple of things you should know about Australians. We love a good barbecue. We love having fun in the summer with all our mates. But as patriotic members of the Commonwealth, there's one thing we love above everything else. We love our Queen. I met a strange lady. She made me nervous. She says, Do you come from now, not many people know this, but Australians are the biggest gamblers in the world. Our number one favourite way to lose money is slot machines. We have 60 times more machines per person than any other country in the world. We love them so much that we give them cute little names. They're like, instead of calling it a poker machine, we call them pokies. pokies. And these cute little pokies hypnotise so many pokies, mate. Australians and drive them to poverty and suicide. And while they make billions of dollars for the gambling bosses, they also have another superpower. Pokies are one of the main ways that criminals launder their money. You put dirty bills in the machine and you get brand new clean ones out of it. You know, it's super convenient both for organized crime that's always looking for ways to clean their money and our giant unregulated gambling industry that's always looking to boost their insane profits by letting criminals use their machines. Now, the last time a YouTuber pointed this out, they were criminally prosecuted, threatened with prison and their house was mysteriously firebombed. A fiery message that's hard to miss. This was a deliberate attack it's the second time the property has been firebombed in a week. Surely this is all coincidental. There's, these clubs don't just willingly let criminals launder their money. So we decided to meet up with Friendly Geordies, the now homeless YouTuber, and test how much money the Aussie casinos will actually let us launder before we get kicked out. So we're here in one of the poorer suburbs of Sydney, which coincidentally happens to have one of the most lucrative pokey clubs. Now there are 743 of these machines in here, and we've got $10,000 in this suitcase. So we're gonna try to- 10,000 dollars. Clean money using these machines. But first, we're gonna have to find a professional who can teach us how to do it. Now this is Troy Stoles. If anyone knows how to launder money, it's him. He was hired by Clubs New South Wales, the giant lobby group for the gambling industry. Now his job was to inspect venues for money laundering and he's seen some pretty wild things in his time. The worst one I didn't tell Tazi you- Will wants the game? Okay, I, I can't do that right now, Will. I'm sorry. I don't know if he's in the chat right now. I don't know if he's listening or not. Um, I'm gonna watch this video. I have to go to dinner with my family. Shout out to the streamers who react to our stuff. By the way, it's been fascinating watching the different personality types responding in different ways. Streamers get a lot of shit, but to actually put yourself out there before the scrutiny of the world takes minerals, so respect. Also, in response to if it weren't for Hassan watching the new JCS video, I wouldn't know that JCS is back because YouTube still hasn't brought it up for me. Anyway, can you say Merry Christmas to my mom? <sighs> He's not being sarcastic. Why the fuck would he be sarcastic? Sorry, I'm popping off on you, but like, no, of course he's not. They've literally added me directly in the past, talking about fucking like YouTube shadow banning them and shit. God damn. This is how powerful fucking narratives are that like some random guy who is completely unrelated to JCS can just be like Hassan is doing reaction and that's completely fucking unethical. And then motherfuckers even in my chat will be like, oh, actually. What? You didn't say it. Say what? Wait, what did I do? Oh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to your mom. Fuck. I forgot. It was, um, so I went to Reeves. They got control of boxes like a hard drive for your computer down in the dungeon. So I go down in the dungeon and I stop, double take. I said, why is there 70 chairs in this room? Some are new, some are just been retuned and pulsed and ready to go and the duty manager said to me Troy oh 
We'll probably go through 20 or 30 of them tonight because they soil the seats while oh. they're playing the pokies. No. Staff have got to clean them up. And what, then they just say, bring them in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And they keep playing. But they keep playing. They've done their business on the stool. They just keep playing. That's insane. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So now, apart from the poo chairs, he also discovered that 95% of clubs were willingly letting money laundering happen. But for some reason, his bosses didn't want to hear about it. I'd been the rattling on about chairs. it for about five years. Um, various emails with managers were swept under the carpet. Why do you think they don't want to stop the money laundering at all? Look, it's, it's too much money coming into the industry. Let's forget that it could be from child exploitation or prostitution. Let's not worry about it. Any of that, it's about the mighty dollar, unfortunately. So Troy became a whistleblower and leaked his shocking findings to the public. Now, his bosses weren't very happy about this. You know, being in charge of gambling in the most gambling addicted state, in the most gambling addicted country, makes you very rich and powerful. These guys have taken down politicians before and Troy quickly realized he pissed off the wrong people. They decided to punish Troy with a never ending lawsuit. So far, Troy has had to pay $900,000 in legal fees. He, he sold his house, and, and during the whole process, he was also diagnosed with terminal cancer, which, you know, also costs a bit of money. Now, along with all this, we've also Jesus got the fact Christ. that Troy is simultaneously stepping on the toes of organized crime in Australia. How are you not scared? Look, I, I, I'm not sure. Um, that's a, a really good question. Um, I don't mean to talk you out of it now. I mean, yeah, now I'm going now. <laughs> so what we've got here is a terminal cancer patient being brutally punished by one of the most evil and powerful institutions in the country for daring to do the right thing. Now look, look, we don't really care about that kind of stuff. But they crossed the line when they went after a YouTuber for the crime of interviewing Troy on his channel. Now, it's personal. So we decided to meet up with Friendly Geordies and Troy to test just how easy it is to launder money on these poker machines, you know, b before they both go to jail. I've got my bag packed ready for jail, so it's oh. all good. <laughs> <laughs> is, is there actually a possibility of you guys going to jail? Or? Nah, nah, we'll win it. Well, there is. There is a possibility. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fucking um, ledge, man. We're going to win. Absolute Confident. fucking Thank ledge. Yeah. Let's go launder some money. Yes. <laughs> Our first stop is Liverpool Catholic Club. Now, you'd think if you've got a large group of people walking into a club with $15,000 filming themselves committing a crime, it's going to be some kind of high stakes adventure. But after feeding bills into the machine for 10 minutes, we realised it wasn't much fun at all. Oh, we're going to be here for ages. This is, can you please launder the money quicker? This is going to be the most boring YouTube video in the world. In my head, I'm like, let's launder money, it's so fun. This is not fun at all. <laughs> <laughs> Only because you haven't sold the ice early. To yeah, that's true. We should have done the crime first. It made it an interesting video and then done the boring stuff. Alex stepped in thinking he had a better strategy to speed things up. Ooh, that's <laughs> a fast system. Oh, the technique. Now, eventually he got bored too. Isn't it amazing how quickly you get immune to just chucking in thousands of dollars? He's just like, come on, hurry up. I'm this bored. is a lot of money. <laughs> Imagine being Mr. Beast and filming his videos, you just... <laughs> oh yeah, I put a million dollars in a poke. Troy wanted us to put his membership card in so he could collect loyalty points from all the money we're stuffing into this machine. You know, with enough points, he could get some free stuff. Oh, <gasps> we could scam the system. You get a free toaster. Yeah, I might get a toaster. Sure. Yeah. You're just going to take our money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, in order to combat money laundering, these machines are limited to $5,000. So we thought we'd let Troy put in the final bill. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah you yeah. put this one in. Will you do the honours? Give it a kiss for good luck. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out there's no limit, so it's back to work for us. So we, we've been doing this for about half an hour and no one has come to stop us. Wait, so there is no fire. limit? So you're just crowding around watching someone just put money in. There's <laughs> no, no play. Then I can't. Okay. I don't. It became pretty obvious that the staff wasn't going to intervene. The only thing that could stop us now is the machine running out of space. And we did it. The, the tray for $50 bills was clogged up. <gasps> no. <gasps> Apparently, the money launderers usually do a bit of gambling so they can blend in with the gamblers and not blow their cover. So now it was our turn. Well, I'm terrified to press anything because I've never spent that much money on anything in my life. Yeah, I reckon I'm shaking. Don't, don't <laughs> yeah, you should be. Oh my God, it's so scary. What if I almost got him to fucking spend more than that. These are Australian dollar ideas, right? I've almost, I almost got him to fucking spend more dollar ideas on on a fucking cowboy outfit, right? Don't you get it fucking it. twisted, no. mate. No, do ten cent. What are you doing, one cent? <laughs> Come on. Hey, I worked hard for this money. Look at these credits. 
<laughs> got a fucking is that snake suit. No, 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 like come on, snake. another one. Oh, what? Stop doing this. <laughs> You're getting He's sick. addicted. Yeah, I'm oh. sorry. <gasps> what does that mean? Apparently nothing. Okay, should we take it out? Yeah, this is boring. Yeah, I feel like putting the money in was more fun. Yeah. <laughs> take win. Now, it should, um, the card might be on top. Oh, credit zero. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, oh, <laughs> Wait, see, so what if it's gone? At least we've got video proof that we put all the <laughs> notes in. This is terrifying. $7,500 has just disappeared. I I'm just hoping it'll be on our card when we cash out. So we're going to take our card to this machine that lets you cash out into brand new clean bills without having to interact with any annoying humans who might ask you annoying questions like, where'd you get all this money? Or I, I don't even see you gambling. Another great thing about this machine is that you technically receive gambling prize money. So whatever you get out of it is completely tax free. Now, hopefully our 7.5K didn't just... Wait. What? Wait, there's got to be a limit to that, right? No shot. What? Bro, the colonies are permanently fucked, okay? Perma-fucked. That's crazy. Someone in the chat said that's how it is in, in Canada, too. That's crazy, bro. I have seen this done in GTRP. Brother, I was one of the first people to do this in Grand Theft Auto Roleplay. Clean boys were the ones who were laundering their money through the casino. We literally did this exact same scheme, pretty much. Pretty much exact same scheme. And even then, actually, as a matter of fact, in RP land... Okay, in no pixel, you still had the ju like taxes. There were still taxes on gambling, uh, on on you know yeah, gambling wins. So there was a an additional mechanism for like you know trying to trying to launder the money that way too. We you still pay taxes on that shit. Disappear, failed. Zero credit. What? No 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 no. Welcome to the Liverpool oh Catholic Club. What the fuck? Wait, the casino just stole their the money? What has he done to us? No, let's go get a person. <laughs> well, what are we going to say? Excuse me, we were trying to prank your club and you pranked us. And we don't like the way that this turned out. I'm freaking out here. Where, where did our money go? We, we wanted to ask someone for help, but how do you do that when you're breaking the law? Oh, there's no money on that machine. Yeah, no, no, but we put that in. We put... Yep. Seven, so how do we get the money onto this card? Do you chance by any chance on the member's card? By any chance or no? Or oh, maybe it's on Troy's one. Oh, okay, so you must have on been... On one. It must be on the member's card. Is it on that card? So it's on your card now. So to take it out, we need you at the counter. So um, if I was to run fast, I got a good day's takings on yeah. After that quick scare, the process wasn't too hard. The only issue is the maximum you can take out in cash is $5,000, and the rest has to be on a check. And since it was on Troy's card, the check has to be in his name. But we got our money cleaned in the end, and we might have lost like $2,500, depending on how much we trust this shifty whistleblower. Troy's made some money off of yeah. Troy's made $2,400 off of it. But look at this, though. Look at this clean, clean money. It's all that money you made making child porn. Not true. You're yeah. actually a gambler. A gambler. You're this a great. gambler. Tax free as well. It was surprisingly easy to launder seven point five thousand dollars. It's like counterproductive money laundering for the government. At least, like if the government is letting you launder money, they should probably tax it, right? Like that doesn't make any sense. They are. There's a 24-7 internet-based link between every single pokey and the ATO. If that link goes down for 30 seconds, they know about it. The text is taken out directly from the ATO, which is why they don't give a fuck about these laws either.
No, they said they gambled a little to clean it, so that's the tax. No, but gambling earnings are considered, I guess, up to a certain limit, I assume. Your Aussie voice is aging like a fine wine in the Philippines. Well, so we're going to try again, but raise the stakes. Surely if we launder money in these shirts, the staff are going to stop us. <laughs> I think it's a launder money. <laughs> and here we go again. These men were just standing here for 20 minutes feeding $100 bills. Like, Australia doesn't have free speech, right? I mean, or they don't have the same, like, America-style uh, free speech protection. So, like, couldn't this be trouble? Like, some speech is protected, but, like, isn't this literally, isn't this straight up just documenting and teaching step by step how to do criminal things? Like, I feel like the government could use that against them, you know what I mean? To be like, oh, well, <laughs> they're fucking letting our, uh, <laughs> they're teaching people how to do fucking tax evasion. They're teaching people how to do fucking money laundering that we allowed the system to do. Just a bit of fucking fun, mate. ...into a machine and no one stopped them. Guys, you know how many times, like, staff have walked past and read it? It's just like, they don't care. Really? Yeah. But little did the boys know there was a professional laundering compliance officer hot on their trail. My you... skills are a bit dusty. I've been off the job for three years. Are you going to be able to spot them? I, I hope so. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Excuse me, you guys look like money launderers to me. How could you tell? I thought it was some other... <laughs> you can't come up to me. It's stressful enough. Your voice is it's so official. It turns out the boys had bigger problems than being pranked by a whistleblower. They had to call an attendant to help them launder money and hope they didn't notice the shirts. Excuse me, man. We need to collect money for this. I don't know how to... Well, I put my card in, but I... Shut the fuck up, dude. No shot. That's insane, bro. That... Oh, my God. They fucking had, like, people in the casino. Dude, in American casinos, this does not fly. Okay. You can't do any of this shit in an American casino. You have, like, cameras literally in every fucking circle. You can't even pick your nose without, like, the casino knowing uh, what your booger tastes like. You know what I mean? There's no shot. They would blacklist you so fast your fucking head would spin. This isn't a casino. It's a fucking local pub, mate. It's a fucking local pub, mate. Oh, yeah, that's... I guess that's right. Yeah. 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 Oh no. Nice. Yeah, she's impressed with the amount of money we're laundering. Five thousand dollars. So am I. Like she, she yeah. has every right. To yeah. You're yeah. a big spender. Dude, yeah. Uh, eventually, another staff member came to help, and another one. Soon enough, the entire club was here helping these money launderers take an absurd amount of money out of a machine without gambling. Uh, you guys want to go to the cashier? Yep. Yeah. Cool, thank you. Against all odds, they let them through without any question. This unbelievable success was obviously making Alex a bit cocky. Just taking a lot of time with my money. I like how you're impatient about this. Yeah, give me my money. <laughs> I want my money. <laughs> Come on, what's scarier, this or more true? Probably, probably this. Actually, because you didn't, I, like, the rules were very clear in North Korea and we didn't feel like we were doing anything wrong. Oh, uh, yeah. And just as they mentioned North Korea, the secret police came in. That's what this is. Really? No. We're not allowed to do this no. no recording. No recording? No. 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 Finally. No, we're just oh, you're friendly, Jordy. It's not the fucking money laundering, it's the recording that's offensive. Oh, he said, oh, you're friendly, Jordy's. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Things are going surprisingly well with the Geordies fans working in security until their supervisor realised what was on our shirts. Well, I think some sort of group is ongoing or group these t-shirts. Well, let's go with no, we, we, just found, we just found them funny. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so the shirts weren't a problem, and neither was the money we were actually laundering. It was the cameras. Just make sure that you guys aren't filming poker machines. It's against the law. Sure. We'll Sorry about no that. Worries. Thank you. Yeah, at all. So apart from that, we're all good. Uh, we're going to pay you guys out in a second. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you. And just like that, we laundered another five thousand dollars. Shout out to the staff here. God, they were helpful. Yeah. Like just bent <laughs> over backwards to make us feel as comfortable as possible. Yeah. I'd have to say seven people around one poker machine isn't suspicious at all. <laughs> <laughs> all with cameras. So if we weren't making a YouTube video, we could potentially launder so much more money. It would be easy without the cameras. Yeah. And without the shirts. And without the <laughs> <laughs> but maybe the shirts weren't as obvious as we thought. If we wanted the staff to pay attention to the crimes we were committing, we'd have to look like actual criminals. <laughs> Where do I even put the cash? There's no pockets. It doesn't even look like it. Yeah. We also decided to change venues as we got a tip off from one of the workers that the managers realised Geordies and Troy were filming a prank in their club. So we moved to Bankstown Sports Club. Now, at this point, Troy pulled the classic terminal cancer patient trick where they're too tired and have to go to sleep in the middle of the day. So we're on our own now. Whatever. Typical. Now, this Fucking costume was immediately typical. much dodgier. A couple of civilians spotted me as soon as I got in the elevator. I feel like we're in the office. <laughs> what makes you say that? What do you mean it's a completely normal way to dress? Not from a really This is how everyone dresses here. <laughs> Before you play, I think you should. You said typical live o limo. Oh, fuck, Bankstown. Bankstown's like a criminal hub. Is that right? Claudia Arcade. Bankstown is like a fucking criminal hub. Bought us a, on the menu a drink. Oh, yeah, actually. Or no. Last meal, maybe. We got fucking Aussies in the chat. Or oh, no, it's Christmas Eve. Hopefully, the Vietnamese iced coffee I ordered will calm my nerves. Because not only was this costume much more obvious, but it also didn't have anywhere to hide our money. It's hard not having pockets. You've got to hold a wad of cash in your But unlike the civilians, the staff didn't care at all. Nothing like freedom. I guess there was nothing suspicious about what I was doing. You've got so much more money in the machine than everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> not suspicious though, no. <laughs> this is normal behaviour at the casino. We decided not to waste any time by trying to gamble and fit in because I obviously wasn't fitting in. This place is much easier to launder money in. You, you didn't even need to put in a card. Well, that was very easy. Got $5,000 in my hand. I need to get a free gift for me. Sorry, do I need to order another one through here? Oh, yes. Okay, alright. Thank you. I had a long day. Thanks so much. Finally, like some Vietnamese yeah, coffee. Yeah, I, I know I'm meant to be laundering money here, but the amenities and the freebies are just so good. We, we were getting distracted by how much the staff pampered us. How much easier is this place than, than oh, Liverpool yeah, yeah, Catholic yeah. Club? And you get free drinks. Yeah. yeah. This one's got the money laundering tick of approval. Shout out to Bankstown Sports Club. <laughs> money launderers paradise. It was about time to put down our free drinks and go and finish laundering our money. It's not laundering me. <laughs> I want my money. I feel like everyone ordering drinks doesn't understand how scary it is holding $5,000 of flimsy paper. I want to cash this in because this sucks. Yeah, can I just put it wet hair, just please? Livo! It's not Livo! It He's fucking Livo, mate! Be careful, you know? I had to be real sly. I, I didn't want to get caught. You're bad at sneaking. <laughs> what? What do you mean I'm bad at sneaking? It's crazy getting all these clean bills without doing any gambling at all. Looks so clean. They, they weren't suspicious at all. It was honestly getting a bit boring. All I could really do to pass the time was make awkward small talk. Do you reckon this shirt's a bit too small for me? Or do you... Just a little bit. Maybe I should roll the sleeves up. Make it... Yeah, 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 that's a good look. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm a lucky man. And we did it. We laundered another five... Australia is such an interesting land, dude. I really want to go. What the fuck goes on over there, man? Shit's actually fucking bananas, okay? Fucking wild, mate. Fucking wild, mate. I need to go down under. This is a ridiculous... Vi I don't think you could do this in America. I I'm just... I'm thinking about, like, how you could do this in America. It's just, like... Okay. Congratulations. All clean. Dude, these are the cleanest bills I've ever seen in my life. I think so. It was really worrying that, you know, not, not only did I get away with it, but the staff didn't question me at all. And what, what was even more worrying is how not even the regular people noticed me. Everyone is completely zombified. Like, time and space doesn't I exist. I guess you could, though. Um, if you went to, like, not a casino, but, like, a random fucking place in Vegas... You could probably do it, except 
Why the fuck would you do it? It's like easier to do tax evasion and also launder money in America, I feel like. For them. They have no reaction when I run around them. In my state, if you hit a ja jackpot over ten, uh, one thousand and ninety-nine dollars, you have to get a tax ticket. I'm not sure what happens if you start with that much and try to take it out, though. Honestly, this was making me pretty sad. So, it's time to retire the burglar costume. <laughs> At this point, it felt like there was nothing we could do to alert them to the fact that we're freely laundering money. But maybe my criminal outfit was too stereotypical and outdated. This next one is foolproof. It'll be obvious that they're dealing with actual scary criminals. And there we were again, filling the machine to the brim with $100 bills. I'm not, I'm not sure why, but this machine wasn't really working very well. I, I, I couldn't quite put my finger on it. It's not warm enough. Maybe if I lick it first. <laughs> Just give it a lick. Oh. Unsurprisingly, no one cared about Christo's costume, um, except maybe this woman. Once again, we managed to launder five thousand dollars, and no Fuck. one cared Shit. at all. Sorry, sorry. What? No, no, I just, just, I just made some money, you know, just, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, every time I win, it's, I'm, there's a machine in there, thank you. Have a good one. That brings us up to $22,500 laundered in a day. That's the equivalent of a kilogram of meth sales or 28 AK-47 sold to ISIS. And it was so easy to do. I, I don't understand how you're meant to get caught doing this. You, you have to be a bloody idiot. But when someone points out how easy it is to do this, the gambling lobby comes down and completely ruins their life with million dollar lawsuits. But you can help Troy win this battle. They won't stop punishing him until he's dead, which is you know, probably pretty soon. So you should follow the link <laughs> in our description and donate to his legal fund or buy some money laundering shirts for yourself from Friendly Geordies and the proceeds will also go directly to Troy's legal fund. Together we can make sure that his last good deed will be to teach a lesson to one of the most powerful and evil institutions in the country. That's fucking insane, dude. What a what a great video, though. What a great video. How a cop shot his wife in the head and got away with it. Jay Z is inspired. Is a video for another day. I uh, was supposed to do Okra Buddy today as well, and uh, I unfortunately will have to do it tomorrow. Uh, cause I didn't realize the whole debate shit like took so much goddamn time. I have to go to dinner with my uncle. So, unfortunately, not going to be able to fucking do that, mate. But an absolute banger. An absolute fucking ledge a video from the fucking boys over at Boy Boy. Very nice. I'll be late to dinner, but it's all good, right? We did a fucking big debate. We did a fucking big debate about Megan Thee Stallion. Uh, why do you still have your beard? I forgot to do that as well. Again, all of this shit... All of the shit, like, compiled on top of one another. Dude, that's what I'm saying. I had so much. All I want for Christmas is a never repeated today's stream. Okay, you guys, like, complain too much. Like, yeah, debates can be stressful and annoying, but, like, it was... That was, like, pretty funny, all things considered, because of how awful, uh, I think, the opposition's arguments were. Like, especially when we moved away from, like, the the uh, dramatic and... and uh, genuinely awful parts like, you know, saying Megan the Stallion is wrong because she's a woman. Three hours was way too long. I do like the idea of like Fresh and Fit being like, you're afraid of debating us. After I talked to them in a 3v1 circumstance for like three hours, that was really weird. Yeah, that was crazy. Do you like one of these every three months? Yeah, that's true. 